Hey, fellow photographers, let me show you my favorite filter in effects. I know you're probably thinking it's dynamic contrast. That would probably be my number two filter. It used to be my number one, but my favorite right now is the new depth lighting filter. Let me show you here. I'm just going to click on add filter and I'm going to select depth lighting. When depth lighting comes up, you'll notice there's a section for brightness and a section for temperature. I'm going to focus on the brightness section first. And what this does is it uses a very accurate depth mask to define the foreground and the background for me. And then I can key shift. That means change the brightness of the background or the foreground independently of each other. So let's say I want to make my subject pop more. I want to darken the background and lighten the foreground. So watch, I just grab the foreground slider and I'll break it up. You can see how it's brightening the foreground in the photo. I'm gonna go pretty far here just for demonstration sake. And the same thing for the background. I just drag it down to the left to make the background darker. I'm going pretty extreme here in this case. And let me just turn the preview on and off so you can see there's before and after. I was really able to key shift that photo quite a bit. But here's the really cool part. You see the depth slider? This lets me control what is foreground versus background. And I do this just by moving that slider back and forth. And if I hold down the Option key or the Alt key while I do that, I can actually see that depth mask. And look how crazy accurate that depth mask is. So I wanted to focus really on the foreground and have a dark background. So I'm going to bring that up just a little bit like that. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? Let me turn that on and off so you can see. Again, there's before and there's after. Even with that flowy, frizzy hair, it's able to be able to create a great mask solely based on the depth in the photo. Now, I can also shift the temperature as well. So if I wanted to warm up the foreground and cool down the background, that's another trick for making your subject pop. I can do the same thing. So I'm just going to grab the foreground and make it a little warmer. Background, make it a little bit cooler here. There we go. And again, before and after, just like that, using the depth lighting filter. Let me show you one more example. Here we're going to use a still life because it's really easy to see that foreground and background difference. So let's do the same thing. Let's say I want to brighten up the foreground and I want to darken the background. And then using that depth slider, you can actually see where the depth gets applied. I can just move that back and forth. It's almost like taking the light source and redirecting where it is shined. Let me hold down that option key again so you can see the depth. I can just go back and forth. I could have it just be a spotlight on the foreground, or I could have it light the rear apples more. It's really up to me what I'm looking for. I'm going to go for one where I'm really only using it to brighten up that foreground apple. There we go. Let's take a look at the before and after. So there's before and after. You can almost completely relight your scene just using depth lighting. There you go. One of my favorite new filters. Thanks for watching.